Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We slashed prices in 2019 Panini Donners Optic Baseball and the people responded by selling it out. So thank you very much everyone for getting into it. Um, right there on the 8th, 12 box, pick your team 16. 2019 Panini Donners Optic Baseball, Liam Mahoney, one, two, three, triple last spot, quadruple last spot mojo. Right here. And here is the case right here. Now, we've got three series in going to game five lead. So the Yankees took care of business. They, 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 they took care of business. They swept. They're moving on to the ALCS. And they'll be sitting around for a little bit because the Rays beat the Astros 4-1 in Tampa Bay. Series is tied at two. And the Rays are going to Houston. There's a game five there. The Cardinals walked it off on the Braves in St. Louis, and now they're going to Atlanta to play game five there tomorrow. And then my Dodgers. Max Scherzer was just amazing. And so the Nationals forced a game five here in L.A. tomorrow. Now Jason Moyers was asking a little bit earlier, before we just start this break, he's like, Joe, do you think Walker Bueller shines for the Dodgers? I do. Um, started game one, looked really good there. Last year started the one-game playoff against the uh, Rockies, I think it was, last year. So he's been in, you know, so he has some sort of, like, pressure situations under his belt. And he is fully rested. So I, th I think he does. I'm not sure if he's going to mow down that lineup. But I think it's going to be, I hope it's a good pitcher's duel, actually. We'll be here tomorrow to watch that game, so you can join me tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got another hour and a half tonight, but live at 2 to 10 LA time tomorrow, so we'll be here watching that game. So feel free to hang out, but could be a good pitching duel. That's 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 what I see. I mean, Strasburg's on full rest, right? Although he has pitched a little bit. Well, he pitched kind of twice last week, I think. The bit of the wild card game, and then this game one start, and then he had the proper rest, full full rest, and now he's starting tomorrow. But I don't know. Does that catch up to him? I don't know. Seemed fine in game one. <laughs> he was great in game one. It's gonna be a battle. Dodgers bats have to do have to come alive a little bit, you know, because it's not like they're gonna face easier pitching as as the not gonna face any easier pitching in the NLCS or any easier pitching in the World Series if they make it there. So, out of one ninety nine, Justice Sheffield Pink Velocity. Now, just in the interest of time, we're just gonna set these aside next to me here, and we will uh, our shipping team will sleeve and top load those before they get sorted out. Brandon Crawford to 150, Willie Calhoun to 35, Tyler O'Neill to 50. We got Taylor Hearn, rated rookie, pink velocity to 199. Nice Fernando Tatis Jr. We'll save some of these too, the rated rookies. You know they'll have some extra value there. Out of 125, Diamond Kings Trey Mints. Is this a parallel hot box? And there is Dylan Cease, rated prospect autograph. I think he's made some starts lately. Oh, there'll be an autograph. Re if you're watching this replay of this video and you're like, is there going to be a recap? Yes. An autograph recap at the very end. 35, that's for Frank and the White Sox. There's Max Muncy to 125. There's Luis Ortiz Gold to 10. And Colby Allard, We the People, to 76. Get it? We the People, 76. Very patriotic. Uh, there is Corbin Burns. Autograph, Pink Velocity Auto. That'll be for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Aaron. Jack is saying, Nats, 
looked tired the first time they faced him. Long flight, slow bats on those high pitches. They need to lay off on the high pitches and make him bring the ball into the strike zone, Jack is saying. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the way to... That's the way to get the Dodgers. Dodgers are an incredible fastball hitting team. There's Kevin Kramer to 199. Ryan O'Hearn. Paxton to 150. And Clayton Kershaw to one field. He'll be available tomorrow. But what the Dodgers are doing well, there's JT Real Muto 99, are, is um, they're a lot more patient at the plate, so they're taking a lot more pitches. It's Eric Hosmer to 50. So if they can kind of kind of get Strasburg to throw, you know, some, I guess what would you call them, like high effort pitches, high stress situation pitches, get him to throw a lot of extra pitch, pitches, there's Nelson Cruz, 99. I think that would be... There's Kopech to 75. I think that would be good. Try to get him knocked out of the game and try to get to that Nationals bullpen. There's Fulton to 75. That was a parallel hot box there. Miguel and Duhar to 199. So only veteran commons won't ship out of here, but I've there's like so many... Uh, there's so many parallels and inserts and everything. You'll get a, a good chunk of what you're seeing flash by the screen. Jason Moyer saying, <laughs> Rich Hill just killing you. I mean, he did okay. He was only slated to go for that amount of that amount of innings. I mean, I think he's still trying to knock off some rust. What did he get? Like one or two regular season starts before playoffs? I kind of... I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what you do with that. I would have left Rich Hill off the NLDS roster and have him go to Arizona and start just kind of do a lot of simulated start, like do a couple simulated starts or something like that. Try to increase some arm strength and then do like a Julio Urias, Kenta Maeda, Ross Stripling kind of bullpen game. So, I don't know. Sorry, James, you can't promote your own Twitter account here, but you can join our Facebook group where you can uh, buy, sell, trade, and chat right there. Right, yeah, put Dustin May out there too. You know, like, I, I would have gone with kind of that bullpen-ish sort of start and get those live arms out there and everything. So, no, it's all right, James. Now you do. But, yeah, self-promotion in general on these channels, folks. I think a lot of, a lot of folks don't really look kindly upon that. All right. Ooh. Nats bullpen equals Santa Ana wins, says Jack. This is true. Yeah, Maeda looks great whenever he's in the uh, whenever he's in the in the bullpen. Charlie Blackman to 25. Kenta Maeda has a weird people people are wondering why isn't he in the bullpen more often? Kenta Maeda has a weird contract set up. There's Bryce Harper to 199 where um, where he gets performance bonuses based on starts made in the season. So his incentive, at least financially, is is to make more starts, or the Dodgers can restructure his contract, which they have not done yet. But so that's why in the regular season, unless he's just completely ineffective, there's Jacob Nix. We'll save these Guerrero Juniors too. You know he's relatively, you know, effective enough to be in the rotation throughout the season. But ooh, nice Pete Rose autograph. But as uh, as it gets to the gets closer to the postseason, then he's like, I'm down. I'm whatever it takes for the team to win. Blah 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 blah. Sorry about that. Reds. Robert Fernandez with the Pete Rose on card autograph. There's Garrett Hampson. 
to nine to sixty. That is, we'll save that to Tease Jr. too. Eniel De Los Santos to one ninety nine. And Darwin's on Hernandez to 76. We the people insert. Danny Jansen to 125. Mitch Hanniger to 60. Miguel Sano to 150. Ooh, this is nice right here. The Tatis, same Tatis, but the refractor version of it, the silver version. Refractor, silver, hollow. I think in Prism they call it silver. No, do they call it? I have no idea. I get those all mixed up. But that is nice. That'll go to the Padres. That's for Brian Peoples. Maybe even get this graded, Brian. There's Jeff McNeil, autograph. Nice. Rated rookie auto for Richard Zitterman and the Metropolitans. Out of the American League? Six out of 50 on that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you. I want to say like Astros or Yankees, but the Rays are looking pretty good here. There's Luis Urias, We the People, to 76. Victor Robles to 125. Ty France to 75. I don't think the Yankees have the starting pitching to keep up with the Astros. Yankees bullpen is stellar though. I guess it really just, I mean, I know that I'm, this is kind of a fence sitting answer. Nice rated prospect silver. Casey Mize. There's Robinson Cohen. It's going to be kind of a fence sitting answer, but it's like, it's whatever team kind of matches, you know, can Aaron Judge start mashing? You know what I mean? Can he start hitting home runs? You know, can the starters be just good enough? And then the, can the bullpen lock it down after that? Casey Mize for the Tigers. That'll be for Liam. You know, so there's that question. And the Astro starters not get crushed by the Yankee bats. You know, that's important too. So like the obvious sort of answer is like, it's like, well, can, can these guys play to their strengths? And it's like, well, no, no crap, Joe. I mean, they got to play to their strengths, you know? But it's like, what team can execute? You know? What, what, what team can execute? It's like, oh yeah, Dodgers on paper. Well, it's fantastic, right? Deep squad, you know, highly offensive team, some great starters. But can they execute against the best team? And that's all it comes down to, health and execution. Yeah, if, 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 if it's the Rays in the World Series and if it's not my Dodgers facing them, then yeah, I'd, I'll probably be rooting for the Rays as well. Is it sold out, Peter? The basketball? I'm assuming you're talking, I think you're talking about the basketball mixer. It sells out. We should have time. I don't think anything else is sold out, right? Oh, I got to do Spectra after this. I think a Spectra hoop sold out. So that brings us to 9.30 LA time. Let me look at this basketball mixer. Yeah, well, if you sell, if nothing else sold out by nine thirty, 
then um, LA time, then I can do that basketball mixer. If something else sold out after that, then that gets in the way of the basketball mixer. We'd have to push it till tomorrow. So it's up to the crew what they want to do. All right, next box. That one of one. Are you talking about the one of one Zion? Yeah, we got we I've, we've been pretty lucky lately. There's Walker Bueller to 150 for the Dodgers. We've been pretty lucky. Whoa! Nice Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph for my peoples, Brian Peoples. With the four out of 40, I don't think I've pulled you an orange one yet, Brian, out of the optic. Nice. And that, yeah, and then, Jason, yeah, we did, we were lucky enough to hit that 50 autograph book out of Luminaries, too. All within, like, what, a couple of weeks of each other? Oh, we lucked out. We'll save a couple of these Satis Juniors, too, just in case. And one of them could be graded. Joey Votto, Pink Velocity, to 199. Oh, right, the basketball mixer also has that 8x10 next to it. Maybe, oh, and Black Diamond sold out. It did. Looks like we'll have to wait till tomorrow then. On that basketball. I forgot about the 8x10, sorry. Jack's right. We had thought that 8x10 to do. Miles Straw, rated rookie autograph. Yeah, the 50 auto book. Well, yeah, I don't think any. I don't think a lot of people have seen anything like that. Astros, Juan Escobi Pena. We'll see the Astros for another game. But yeah, I think it's safe to say that no one has. <laughs> Here's we the people, Darwin's on Hernandez, 76. Next box, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Grease looking for a uh, Wander Franco autograph. Yeah, I think he's got some rated prospect autos in here. Right? It's going to be tough, I think, for the Rays to get game five, though. Houston is a pretty tough place to play. And... Well rested uh, Garrett Cole out there, who they're probably going to ask him to be like, hey, you got to 120 pitches. You got to get ready to throw 120 pitches. This one, but this only helps, this five game series only helps the Yankees, though. They're done in three games, and they're well-rested, and, you know, whatever kind of nagging injuries any of those guys have, they can rest up for a few days, and they'll, they'll, be, they'll be good. Nice. Thank you, James. We'll take care of all those requests later tonight. He, he is in the process of, Jack. I think we put him in touch with one of these, uh, um, an auction house that we, that we know. Um, Leland's auctions. Some of you may be familiar. Um, so we put we put them in touch with each other, and then you know we'll wait to see uh, for an update from John. It's all in their hands now. 
Brandon Lau, we'll see him for another game. He had a good game today. That is for the Rays. Robert Grease. Bob, what's going on? Bob Wessel in the house. Bryce Harper, all stars, insert to 50. There you go, we'll see him in game five, Garrett Cole. Aaron Judge, pink velocity to 199. It's going well, Bob. Busy as usual. We've been kind of breaking nonstop all night. Pink velocity, Kyle Wright, pulling some nice hits as usual. Hanging out, talking sports, watching the game. Justin with the Braves gets out Kyle Wright. Ramon Laureano, red, to 60. Next box. Next box. I don't think we've seen the autograph hot boxes yet, right? Who does everyone have tomorrow in that St. Louis Atlanta game? Looks like it's it's Jack Flaherty starting for the Cardinals and uh, Fulton Evich starting for the Braves in Atlanta. Who does everyone have there? Love and Card says at the ATL. I'm leaning Braves as well. I, I think it's going to be the Braves, I'm afraid. My apologies to the X-Line if he's watching and listening. He's a Cardinals guy, but but I think he's, I think they've got the, they've got the bats that seem to be a little more consistent throughout the series. A little concerned about sort of the back end of that rotation, but I guess, or back end of that bullpen, but I guess everyone's having bullpen issues. You know, King Keto says Atlanta all the way. Bob says ATL, no doubt. Robert Grease says he, although he, he, Robert Grease, not a fan, not a faulty fan. Something about his pitching technique. It's Kyle Tucker, rookies, 10. There's Victor Victor Mesa, rated prospect autograph. Marlins, that goes to Frank. I think we'll start seeing more, more hype around him in the next season or two. We've got Christian Stewart, rated rookie autograph. For the Tigers, that's going to go to Liam. I wonder if we're, this is a autograph hot box. Two autos were kind of early. To 35. 
Michael Kopech, red to 60. White Sox. Let's save one of those Pete Alonzo's for the Mets. That'll be for Richard Zitterman. And Casey Mize. Oh, maybe not an autograph hotbox. Justice Sheffield to 199. Vlad Guerrero Jr. John Duplantier and Joey Gallo. All right. Sixth box. So after this, we'll be halfway through this break. All right, well, who does everyone have in my game? We're, we're, we're kind of dancing around it. I'll ask the question. Don't worry. Don't. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you go against my Dodgers. Nationals come back to Los Angeles. Steven Strasburg starting for the Nationals. And Walker Buehler starting for the Dodgers. Both uh, Walker Buehler's game one start was pretty nice. And so was Strasburg starting game two. Series tied at two. This is it. This is the final game. Who does everyone have? Nationals or Dodgers? I'm obviously going to say Dodgers. What time does that game start? 8.37 p.m. So that's 5.37 my time. We'll be right in the middle of, of our breaking evening. Jack saying Nats only because the deciding game is not at home. Are the Nationals a better Nationals a better road team? NHL also says Nats. Bryce Harper to 199. There's Jay Cave. To 199. Dodger playoff fail again. Man, if the Dodgers are going to get knocked out of the playoffs, I'd rather have it be early than during the World Series. Justice Sheffield rated rookie autograph instead of making me go through an NLCS and the World Series. Justice Sheffield, Chris Parent, Mariners. To 99. Oh, I see. Jack's saying there's too many heartbreak losses at home for the Nationals in the playoffs. So he's thinking that trend changes when they're away. Maybe a little less pressure. There's Kevin Newman autograph. Is this our autograph hot box? Maybe. Saw another card that was flipped around. Don Rab Pirates. Seventy five. MH saying Cardinals. MH might be lagging behind it a little bit. John Duplantier autograph. Here's our auto hot box. Rated prospect auto for the uh, Diamondbacks. Liam with the Snakes. Might see him in starting rotation action next year. They might stretch him out to be a starter. 75. They should. It's pretty good. Uh, Kyle Tucker to 10. Obviously, my biggest concern about the Dodgers. See what's wrong. Guy could guy could go. Complete game shutout, two hitter. Real easily. I mean, speaking of pressure, you might even argue there's Josh James. We saw him pitch a couple innings today. Josh James for the Astros, Juan Escobar Pena. I mean, you can even argue there's more pressure on the Dodgers. Go back to the World Series, win the World Series. Be a vehicle. But I need this out of my house. 
And there's your final autograph in the hot box, Kevin Kramer. So we had Kevin Newman, right, right over there, and then Kevin Kramer. Kramer and Newman for Don and the Pirates. Don says that, yes, Ke Kevin Kramer, Kramer and Newman have done Seinfeld photo shoot spoofs and stuff like that, which is great. Say one of those. This Casper bed commercial, you know, you know, how many different bed companies are out there now? Like bed companies that will ship you a bed. There's like, I feel like there's three or four, which I feel like there's like a there's been a an explosion of. Is there a bed bubble? A lot of people in on the we'll ship you a bed business. And they come in like these boxes that are about this. You'll get like a king size mattress in this like small box. It's, did everyone figure out like how to pack mattresses? And they're like, ah, this is it. And everyone started their own mattress company, and now there's all these mattresses out there. Getting there, folks. We're getting there. Almost there. Yeah, it was the play of game four that relay, but it, it go down Alvarez every at bat. You could almost do a pitch by pitch because he's such a patient young hitter. He grinds out every at bat. Here's Garrett Cole. We'll see him in a couple days in Houston to 150. Where is Garrett? Garrett Cole's a free agent, folks. Where does he go? Ooh, nice MVP signatures. Ricky Henderson, Oakland A's edition. Robert Rohr with the athletics. Nice. Five out of ten on that one. A lot of teams could use a Garrett Cole. How many teams will actually get Garrett Cole? You know who I wish would get Garrett Cole? Twins. They need some front of the rotation. Jose Barrios and Garrett Cole at the top of that rotation would be pretty nice. There's Brendan Rodgers. Rated prospect autograph for the Rockies. Eric Leal. I know uh, Nick Jaspi, Angels fans, has been talking Garrett Cole Angels. Angels fans talking like Joe Madden managing the Angels. And Garrett Cole sit on top of that rotation. That would be a good start for them. There's Cal Quantrill to 125. Padres could use a front of the rotation guy. Right, so if they have like Garrett Cole on top of that rotation, then like a you know like a Chris Paddock right behind there, like, and then fill out, fill out the rest of that rotation. That'd be pretty interesting with their offense. Don thinking Cole to Angel seems like a big possibility. Where are the what are the latest Joe Madden rumors? There's Jose Barrios right there. There are like, I think last I heard there are like six or seven. Um, there's Pete Alonso, nice pink velocity to 199. I think there are like six or seven. 
job openings, managerial openings. We were talking, we were kind of casually discussing the other night. I think someone was saying, hey, I really like Rick Honeycutt as a Dodgers pitching coach. And, and I was saying, you know, Rick Honeycutt, I think last two, three years, you know, everyone's been really at the off seasons of each of those years, last few years. I've been saying, wow, oh, Rick Honeycutt, do people want to talk to Rick Honeycutt? You know, maybe Rick Honeycutt could be a manager somewhere. He's had success with that Dodgers pitching rotation. Pitcher himself back in the day, so I think in a, in a world where, I guess, kind of lining up rotations and knowing when to go to the pen and all that sort of stuff seems to be a little more important. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's, maybe he leaves the Dodgers after this season. Just off the top of my head, Angels need to fill the manager's job. Padres need to fill a manager's job. Bochi retired, so the Giants need to fill a manager's job. Callaway's gone in, in New York, right? So they need to fill a manager's job. That's the, I feel like that's a lot more than, than usual going into the offseason. I mean, there could still be more fired once the playoffs are over, you know? Oh, Cubs obviously need a manager. Joe Madden's gone. So a lot, a lot of big teams looking to fill a pretty important spot. All right. It's Jonathan Lewisaga. Mookie Betts to 60. The red is to 60. And is that an Eloy Jimenez I see? Is that an autograph? It is. Nice. Eloy Jimenez auto for Frank and the White Sox. I think the Chicago White Sox in a couple years or so. You know, once Eloy gets a year or two under his belt, he's already pretty good. White Sox could be a pretty dangerous team. As a CIO, you want to move your business forward. There's Giancarlo Stanton, 75. And behind Ozzy is Tristan McKenzie, rated prospect autograph for the tribe. That goes to Sanford. Hey, Sanford. That goes to Sanford and the Indians. There is Chris Paddock. We were just talking about him a minute ago. To 150. All right, we've got four boxes to go. I think three regular boxes, and then we should be expecting one more autograph hot box, I want to say. So let's keep an eye out for that. Those are easy breaks to do, Peter. Yeah, let's, let's knock out some hockey pucks. That's pretty easy. Pretty fun. Something different to add to the collection. So yeah, so after this, we're gonna go into uh, the one box break of Spectra Basketball. 
And then we're gonna do Black Diamond, the last box of Black Diamond. I think that's the last box of Spectra Basketball too, 16, 17. So we should have, I mean, we should have time to do one more quick break. Before we have to call it a night. Because this will take us another, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so. Black Diamond takes 10 minutes. Spectra Basketball takes 10 minutes. So that should bring us to around the 40 minutes past the hour, 45 minutes past the hour. It's a good time to squeeze in one more quick break. Quick as in hockey pucks, Gold Rush, Burnt Biscuits, autographed hockey pucks. That's pretty quick. NT NASCAR, it's a one box break. That's pretty quick. Marvel, Upper Deck Supreme Hard Court. Those are all pretty quick. Yeah, we can do hardcore. And that that's and that has a lot more spots left, but it's also by far the least expensive break to join into on a at least on a per spot basis. Only two hits, but in terms of strict price point, it's pretty inexpensive. Alright, there's Whit Merrifield to 150. And Vlad Guerrero Jr., nice. Rated rookie autograph for Levi and the Blue Jays. So we had Tatis Jr. in this case, and now Vlad Guerrero Jr. Not numbered, but you got sort of a bronze parallel around that border there. It's pretty cool. And we've got Caleb Ferguson, rated rookie autograph. Dodgers could use a healthy Caleb Ferguson in that bullpen. <laughs> Forty-three out of seventy-five. Pete Alonso, silver, nice. Bryce Harper, twenty-five. Yeah, and we get two great talents going on the mound, but offensively, to combat starters, Roscoe and Julie, give me a couple X factors, guys that you think could have big effects. Well, when you have power arms like Jewel and Strasburg, you need your power guys, your power bats to step up. Because these guys are going to, so some part of that lineup, these guys are going to mow through. So when I look at the national, I say, okay. For an Jr., 150th through. anniversary, red, white, and blue, when to 150. For my peoples, Brian Peoples. There's Mitch Hanniger. All right, three boxes to go. I think I actually need a little room here. Bellinger has got to Bellinger's got to show up a little bit. All right, a few more boxes to go. Good luck. What are UTS, by the way? The NLDS is sponsored by UTS, U-T-Z. What is that? I don't know what that is. It looks like a... I don't know, it's like a... 
candy company? Looks like a candy company. The candy company sponsoring the NLDS? Must be an East Coast thing. Oh, it's a oh, it's a snack company. Don is saying that it's potato chips. So it's lift chips. Got it. Potato chips. Oh, crisps, as they say in the UK. Travis no chips. But it's like like Lay's. What kind of flavors do they have? I like chips. I'm a fan of a, a good barbecue, a good BBQ chip. Need a little bit of spice. I can handle that. They have, they have a Mexican chili chip. So we don't really need the Nick Cam up there. Let's see, you got Pete Alonso. And there's Forrest Whitley for the Astros. That's for Juan. The Mexican chili is the best chip in the world, says an HL pro. Hmm. I feel like we, I've, I've never seen Utz branded chips. Out here on the West Coast, maybe we don't. Maybe he hasn't reached here. It was a long time before I knew what W. B. Mason was. There's Luis Severino. Jake Bowers for the Tribe to 75. Got Kevin Biggio here. Jason Jasby saying, you, you like ketchup chips from Canada? That's interesting. And there's Rowdy Tellez for the Blue Jays. Oh, old Dutch ketchup chips? NHL, are you, are you on board with that? Old Dutch brand ketchup chips? Like Jason Jaspi? That's for the Bluebirds. That'll be for Levi. No, I don't think we got old Dutch out here too, Jason. We don't got old Dutch out here. We're getting short on all these delicious chips. Eloy Jimenez to 50. That's your second faves as an HL, okay. This kid this kid's gonna be special. There's a kid that plays for Houston Astros that's pretty special. We'll trade you a couple in and outs for some old Dutch brand chips. Let's increase our let's increase our uh, our chip palette here. Oh there it is, ah oh, it's potato. The crunch that connects us all. Uh, those originals look kind of boring, though. You like those... Wait, who has bacon-wrapped jalapeno chips? That sounds kind of good. <laughs> Casper, this Geico Casper commercial Casper. That's, the kid's pretty pretty cheery for for a kid that's dead who died as a child. That's kind of terrible. He's a dead kid. Like, what did he die of? has no legs. Maybe he was run over by a train or something. Yeah, there's some crazy chips now. Chicken, a chicken or waffle chips? Crazy.
All right, second to last box. Almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. We got Chance Adams. Give Peace a Chance Adams. Rated rookie autograph for the Yankees, Justin. 39 out of 75. There's Eugenio Suarez to 60. Eloy Jimenez Silver will save one of those. Ooh, that sounds good. Old Dutch Parmesan and garlic. That sounds good, Chris. We need we need Poland spring water. Yes, Lith. We need Poland spring water to be sent out from the east. There are significant signatures. Charles Johnson, old catcher for the Marlins. That goes to Frank. I have a, a, maybe five or six bottles of Poland spring kind of sitting at my house. Just for special occasions, for special water occasions. There's Jacob Nix. Here's your other autograph hot box. Rated rookie auto for the Padres. Brian with the Friars. Should be two more out of here. Noah Syndergaard, blue, 75. Save another to Tease Jr. One of those could be graded. Send all of them in. One of them's bound to be PSA 10, right? Michael Chavis to 150. There's Ryan O'Hearn, rated rookie autograph. Royals, that's going to be for the X line. And the last one here is Jake Cave, rated rookie autograph for the Twins. That's going to be for David Bruins. Twenty-two out of ninety-nine. And the final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. We've seen all of our autograph hot boxes. I'm pretty sure we've seen both of our parallel hot box. So this should be a standard two autograph one to close things out, plus the few parallels that are in here. Good luck to everyone. William saying, Utz's store locator is ridiculous. Enter zip code, distance up to 25. And then specific product you're looking for, and what, like, nothing shows up? I feel like every, every like, snack or food kind of main website and their, uh, and their store locators are always terrible. You'd be like, oh, where, where can I, have, like, remember the barbecue sunflower seeds, the David's barbecue sunflower seed search of 2019? And there's like, oh, Joe, there's one in Walgreens and Redon. I went there. Nothing. Many Walgreenses. Nothing. All right, Black Diamond Hockey coming up, or yeah, I think that filled first. Black Diamond Hockey coming up, no, check that. I think Spectra filled first. Spectra Hoops, 1617 Spectra Hoops, and then Black Diamond Hockey. And then we should have time to squeeze in one more quick break if you want to. We'll go through some orders and we'll see what we can sneak in before the end of the night. Otherwise, there's nothing really going on. We may call it just a tiny little bit early and then um, get ready for a big day tomorrow. Clearly authentic baseball drops tomorrow. We got more Sapphire baseball tomorrow. Uh, we've got the NBA mixer that's really close, plus the eight by 10 that we can do tomorrow. Um, clearly authentic or clear cut hockey drops tomorrow. 
15 boxes? Seems like a lot. Is it only one thing per box? Oh, yeah, it's only one thing per box. That looks nice. All right, so there you go. That looks like a nice hit coming up. There's Keston Hira to 35 for the Brew Crew. There's Blake Snell who put in a little bit of work and relief today. And that is nice. Rated prospect autograph, Jordan Alvarez for Juan Escavi Pena and the Astros. 114 out of 125. Junio Suarez. Should be one more autograph in here. Nice to tease silver or hollow, whatever they call it in this set. Let's get them mixed up. Corey Kluber, We the People to 76. I'll show you the number here. 17 out of 76. And the final autograph is going to be, looks like another Astro. Yes, Cionel Perez. And that's also for Juan. There you go. Out of 125, so an Astros personal box for Obi-Wan. Pink Velocity, Anthony Rizzo to 199. Vlad Guerrero Jr. will save those. And save another Vlad Guerrero Jr. down there as well. Where'd that silver Fernando go? That up. All right, quick autograph recap right here at the end. We'll go from the last box to the first box. Pretty nice break overall. So the Jordan Alvarez, got the Forrest Whitley, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Eloy Jimenez. We've got Ricky Henderson. We got... We got Victor Victor Mesa, Kyle Wright, Bren Lau, Fernando Tatis Jr. is pretty nice. Pete Rose, Corbin Burns, and Dylan Cease started things off. And there you have it, folks. Full case, pick your team 16 in the books. That was 2019. Panini Donruss Optic Baseball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's the website up there. So check us out for more baseball. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.